Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video, we're going to talk about rational root uh, theorem. Uh, this is the rational root theorem, uh, which tells us that we can find possible roots of a polynomial equation by just looking to factors of a sub zero and factors of a sub n and create what they call here this uh, p over here, this fraction. So uh, let's see an example here. Let's see an example here uh, how this uh, works. Uh, again, we're going to do that p over q. And here on top, we're going to put the um, factors of 1, which are plus and minus 1. And on the bottom, on the denom denominator, we're going to put the factors of 1 also, plus and minus 1. So this is a pretty simple example where uh, we have the same factors. And what is the, the what are the possible combination we can get? Positive 1 and positive 1, right? That is going to give you a possible root of 1. And positive 1, negative 1, that will give us the negative 1. So the only two possible rational roots are positive 1 and negative 1. Now, they ask us to find the actual roots, right? That is uh, one more, couple more steps. In fact, two more steps. We need to check this, uh, this uh, possible root. So I'm going to take that one and plug it in the equation. And looking at this, we see this is not zero. The same so you have negative one. We plug it in. And also, we can see this is not zero. So, in fact, these possible rational roots are not the actual roots because they don't verify the equation. And we can see that also looking to a graphical approach. If you have a graphic algorithm, you can use this one, put it in, and we're going to get something similar with what I have here, uh, which is the graph of number 45, of the function. Uh, x cubed minus 4x plus 1. Okay. These guys are the zeros, and they are the solution of this equation, in fact. And if you check, you will see it. 1 is negative 2.11, the other one is 0.25, and the last one 1.6. So none of those possible roots is the actual roots. Here I just want you to see how that works. Now pause this and try number 46. So if you end up with these uh, possible rational roots, you do a wonderful job. I just check two of them, one and negative one, and you see uh, the uh, is not zero. So these uh, possible roots are not actual roots. Uh, let's use the technology again, a graphing calculator or uh, something else. And this is uh, the intercept we get which, if I calculate it correctly, it is 1.76. This is the actual root, right? The only way to find it for this equation, let me be sure about, is just using a gra uh, graphing calculator of technology. Okay. Uh, let's see two more examples. Uh, this one, uh, p over q, we have uh, plus and minus 1, right? Plus and minus 2, plus and minus 3, and plus and minus 6. These are the factors of 6. 
and here down on the denominator we're gonna put the factor of 3 plus and minus 1 plus and minus 3 and now what are the possible choices right? again plus and minus 1 plus and minus 1 third also we have plus and minus 2 and plus or minus 2 thirds and also we have plus and minus 3 right if we look to this combination but then if we look to plus 3 and plus 3 here or negative 3 we get something that we already have we have uh, we already have it plus and minus 1 and the last choice is going to be plus and minus 2 which is the result of 6 and 3 oops we already have this one so we don't need it in fact the one we need it is plus and minus 6. These are the possible roots. Okay, a bunch of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 possible roots. How do I find the actual root? That is the long process of plugging in, plugging in. Okay, I'll show you a, a couple. If you want to check them, the others, that's fine. 3 times 1 cubed plus 9 times 1. So I plug 1 in. And if minus 6, is that equal 0? I don't think it's 0, right? And the same we can try with a negative 1. Okay, 3 times negative 1 to the third power. Plus 9 times negative 1 minus 6. Is that 0? Obviously, it is not 0. So, you keep doing this process and you hope you're going to find one. In this case, unfortunately, you are not going to find anyone. Uh, if you take a look, this is the uh, zero of the function, which is also is the root of the equation. And uh, if my calculation is correct, this that one is 0.59. Okay? So again, none of the possible roots are actual roots. Go ahead and try number 48. If you have this list, that is the list of possible rational root. Uh, I want to emphasize something. You see, for example, this 6 and 2 will give you the same 3 like the choice that probably you already noticed here. You know. Okay, so if, uh, be careful of that, you don't need to list them twice. Okay, how do I find the actual roots? Like I said, you can plug it in or you can use technology, which I'm going to do now. And look at here, this is the zero of the function, which if I am correct is 1.32. Uh, none of these possible roots is the actual root. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clip. Thank you.